Hey there, Geeks. Tim with MajorGeeks.com. Today we're going to show you how to optimize and defragment your drives in Windows 10 or 11. The beauty of this whole thing is, I hate to send you out of here in 30 seconds, is you really don't have to do anything. you got two types of drive. A traditional hard drive, in which case you'll defragment, and a solid state drive, in which case you'll optimize, or they call it trim. But we're going to show you how you can at least check where you're at, which is a good idea to know. So even if your drive is automatically optimizing, Maybe you want to check the schedule, for example. So let's jump in. Let's start with File Explorer, which is basically the easiest way to do it. Well, pretty close to it. Open your File Explorer up. Find your drive. See? We're going to right-click, and we're going to click on Properties. Go ahead and click on Tools. And as you can see, you can optimize or check the drive for error. So go ahead and click on optimize. And as you can see, it is OK, 0% fragmented. And I'm on a VMware virtual machine, so it might not be showing it correctly as an SSD. But in addition, you can analyze it right here. Now suddenly it needs optimization. And you can click Optimize. I'm not going to touch it because Virtual Machine doesn't know I'm on an SSD drive. You're not supposed to defragment SSD drives. Although I've done it a couple times just to be difficult. Not too much else you need to do. Again, if you click Advanced View, you see all your other volumes of hidden partitions. You usually don't touch those. And here's the other thing. Changing the settings. This will let you look at what your schedule is. As you can see, it's running weekly, which is more than enough. If you, people will ask me, I'm trying to think. If you use your computer every day, I like weekly. If you use your computer occasionally, every couple days, you probably do monthly. If you use it once a week, monthly is more than enough. You can also increase the task priority if three consecutive scheduled runs are missed. In other words, it tries to optimize your computer when it's not in use. If it can't do it, you're telling it, yeah, go ahead and do it no matter what. But for the most part, as you can see, in my case at least, the settings are where they need to be. So that's how we do it in File Explorer. All those settings I just showed you don't change much from here. We can go into Settings. They really bury stuff in Windows 10 and 11. So I'm not sure 10 is exactly the same, but it's close. So we do Start, Settings, or you can press the Windows key plus I. You should be in System here on the left. We we'll want to find Storage. Next on the right, and this is a bunch of steps, so I'm going too slow. Just hit pause real quick, catch up, and then hit resume. Storage. Now we want to find advanced storage settings, which will probably be down here at the bottom. There it is, right here. And there's your drive optimization. So we'll go ahead and click on that. Now let me ask you a question. Does that look familiar? <laughs> oh, why why are they going to bury it this far? Which is why we started with the File Explorer. So as you can see, we've already explained everything here. Goodbye. And that's why I started with File Explorer first. But if it doesn't open, whatever, you might need to do this at some point. It's good to know how it works. So again, this tutorial, which you can find in the video description, as well as a little eye over here somewhere, will take you through these steps as well. Here's my computer I was talking about before. Solid state drive, change settings, optimize. And if you want to get geeky with it, we can do the command prompt. Now, once again, if you have an SSD drive, don't do it. So what you do is you type in defrag, put in your drive letter, for a specific drive, of course, colon forward slash O, or you would use Windows Terminal or PowerShell. Same thing, optimize volume drive letter, dash verbose, and again, replace your drive letter with your letter, which is usually C. So, for example, C colon is what you would put in here for your drive letter. I kind of was a little vague on that intentionally, 
it's not a it's not a good idea you should really get in here you, you know what you shouldn't be doing anything at all you should check your settings and for the most part 99 percent of the time for most of us it's going to do it now for you automatically go back to windows 7 8 we were downloading third-party apps and there were some great ones too but just so much better than windows defrag and are they anymore i don't know people don't spend as much time and if you haven't looked into an ssd drive look into it sometime it's pretty amazing there you have it. That's how easy it is to optimize and defragment drives. Unless you take my advice and don't do anything, and it's super easy. In Windows 10 and 11. You know the drill. Bottom right-hand corner is subscribe. Click like. YouTube won't let you click dislike. Thanks for watching, guys. See ya.